Well, hello friends. I am back in beautiful British Columbia and I'm here with my friend Patrina. Hi guys. She is also a lovely travel YouTuber. <laughs> so definitely check out her channel. I'm gonna have it linked in the description. So where we are right now is a place that I have never been to before, but Patrina, you've been to Cranbrook, British Columbia so before <laughs> when you were a kid, right? <laughs> really yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is a really uh, interesting part of British Columbia to visit because it is just basically an hour across the border from Alberta. So we just drove down from Calgary and are gonna be here for a couple of days. But where we are right now and what we are standing in front of um, is the hotel that we will be staying at for the next two nights. And it actually has a very interesting history. Katrina, could you tell my lovely audience uh, where we are staying and why this is such a significant um, place for the area? Absolutely. So the St. Eugene's Resort was actually previously a residential school. Mm -hmm. From 1920 to 1970, this building right behind us mm -hmm. housed all the Tunaha children from the area. They were stripped from their families and then they were put here where they lived and went to school and they tried to take away their culture from them and take the culture out of them basically. There's just like such a dark history but the Tunaha people who still own this building, the, it is indigenous owned the business is still owned by them to them it was so important that the same building that stripped them of their culture mm -hmm. they wanted to now create something beautiful to share their culture with the world and to use this building to now rebuild their culture in a positive light what's especially interesting is that right here in the whole resort because this is actually a very big area we'll tell you about all the different things it has in just a minute but what i think uh is the best part of this whole resort is that they actually have an indigenous cultural center where you can actually take an hour and a half long tour by somebody who actually was mm -hmm. you know a child in this residential school system here that has you know personal experience there's actually a few staff members who uh, I was told you know work on the property and that actually went to the school so outside of that very dark history there are just so many amazing things about this property that definitely makes it one of the best places to stay in Cranbrook where not only is it this beautiful historical you know building that they've turned into a hotel it has gorgeous gardens all around mm -hmm. but it also has a world-class golf course now I don't golf. I would take <laughs> probably like two hours to just do one hole <laughs> properly. So I'm sorry, Petrina. I'm not going to be the best golf buddy. Um, but they also have so many other, you know, great things. Like they have a lovely outdoor pool. Mm -hmm. They got a fitness center. There's even a casino here mm -hmm. for you know all the people lucky. that love to <laughs> feel lucky. They have three uh, on-site restaurants. So it's a beautiful property. Uh, I feel very lucky to be here uh, because we did get this day complimentary, all thanks to mm -hmm. Petrina setting uh -huh. this up with uh, Tourism Cranbrook and also St. Eugene's. So thank you very much for the complimentary stay. And I hope you guys will join us for this little tour around the area of Cranbrook because it is stunning. Oh yeah. Just like fire, no denying, I know we won't be late. Sky may be gray, there might be rain, I have to say. All right guys, this is our lovely room at St. Eugene's and I actually want to start with the washroom where I love the floor. <laughs> I love the type of tile that they have in here. It's a really nice bathtub, has everything you need. And then over here we are staying in a queen room in the mission building which was actually the residential school uh, it is a heritage building now so a lot of the brick and original features they actually have left the same they have nice keurig machines here a lovely fireplace to start up in the evening and just a really lovely 
comfortable ambience. All right, guys, we have arrived to the 19th hole. This is the restaurant that they have here beside the golf course. They have a lovely patio that we are sitting on. Oh, and <laughs> Petrina got a sangria here. Um, could I please get a nine ounce uh, cab solve? Yeah, perfect, thank you. Petrina and I decided to twin in the best way possible <laughs> with their quinoa salad. I think the quinoa is just underneath here. We got some greens, avocado, feta, and then we got some salmon on the side being very health conscious tonight. But it's just lovely to eat here in the fresh air. <laughs> by Tourism Cranbrook at this really interesting sort of heritage town called Fort Steele. Apparently they have like wagon rides and a train ride and it's all the old style of buildings that were in this area back in the day and you can kind of kind of feel like a pioneer for the afternoon. That was fun. It was so fun. <laughs> it's crazy because Katrina and I were just talking and I mentioned how I feel like we've been here all afternoon because we saw so many different things and we technically didn't even see everything. Apparently they have like classes where you can make homemade ice cream and just see how they did things back in the old days so now we're actually going to jump in the car and actually go to cranbrook uh, go to a restaurant for lunch that tourism cranbrook really recommended to us and it's going to be interesting because cranbrook is actually the largest urban center in the kootenai yep. region it's got a population of about 20,000 people so come on and we'll yeah. show you guys around <laughs>
right guys we are at the hideout and we have Sven from Cranbrook Tourism showing us around today and we got some local craft beers that they have here I got a IPA as always Petrina what did you get I got a sour beer amazing nice and Sven what did you get I got the Belgian bit love it well cheers guys on a nice hot summer day. <laughs> the food has arrived and it looks spectacular. They also did the sweetest thing where Petrina and I wanted to share a couple of things and they split it for us as is. We got the Reuben sandwich, which is hopefully going to satiate us for our upcoming bike ride. And then we also got the pear, blue cheese and bacon salad. Looks spectacular. All right, guys, the more active part of our day has begun here at yep. North Star Bicycle Company. Really nice bike, super nice bikes. Yeah. I have never been on an e-bike before. We just tested the mode and it is nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I agree, I agree. There's supposed to be some really nice trails around this area. So Petrina, let's go on a let's little adventure. It. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm sweltering, mm -hmm. but I'm also so happy. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> this is such a spectacular view. Let me just actually pop you guys over the shoulder. Look at that. Wow. It's so nice. <laughs> and these e-bikes definitely make things a yeah. lot easier, do they not? 100%, that little like extra push. I think on the way back there's some uphills, so this is gonna come in handy. Yeah, it truly is an amazing trail here, mm -hmm. and it's nice to see other bikers coming around here as well. So we're gonna, head back to Cranbrook and then head back to St. Eugene's yep. because tonight we have a very special dinner at their signature restaurant, Numa. Mm. So we've worked up an appetite for yes, that. we have. <laughs> oh my goodness, we have a beautiful bottle of Cab Merlot from Hester Creek. Perfect. <laughs> Matt is multi-talented. Yes, <laughs> A man of many talents. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best ones. <laughs> Alright guys, our appetizers have arrived and they look amazing. We got the scallops and shrimp appetizer with some focaccia bread. Am I saying that right? Focaccia. 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 I <laughs> knew close. something was off. <laughs> And then we also have a charcuterie board, which is just epic. I haven't had a charcuterie board in such a long time. There's a whole bunch of different cheeses, some different salami, some raspberry jam, pickles. The wine is fantastic. We are in heaven. The company is 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10. <laughs> we are eating so good tonight guys i don't even have the words for it oh this is the ribeye on a beautiful bed of mashed potatoes and asparagus some seasonal vegetables and then over here is definitely i think the must-have dish from numa which is the bison which in and of itself looks super interesting with the bone almost coming out of it here. We have a barley risotto, it said, as well as kind of like this corn sort of sauce on top. This looks incredible.
What a spectacular couple of days. It's really unbelievable. Who would have known that Cranbrook has so much to offer? I would 100% come back here because honestly, like even though it felt like we did so many different things, it's really the tip of the iceberg. There's especially so much hiking that would be so mm -hmm. good to do in this area. So really wanna say a big thank you to St. Eugene's for hosting us. We had such a phenomenal time here. It's an amazing resort. The restaurants, oh, Numa especially, incredible. Yes. The staff here is just lovely. Uh, so we're actually gonna link them in the description so you guys can definitely come and stay here yourself. And also wanna say a big thank you to Tourism Cranbrook for hooking us up with so many fun things to do yesterday. I'm gonna link them in the description as well because on their website they have like all the suggestions yes. of things to do, you know, in and around this area. So definitely check it out. Also wanna say a big thank Aww. you to Petrina for joining me on this amazing journey. I'm gonna have her YouTube channel linked in the description. And I'm sure we're going to do so many more oh, yeah. adventures together. This is just the beginning. Exactly. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you have been to Cranbrook. And as always, I'm sending you so much love and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.